Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show how we can validate that a user filled out all entries on a form just on a basic sheet in, my, in Microsoft Excel. So I have some fields here where I'm going to request that the user put in name, address, city, state, and zip. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a command button where the we can click verify information to make sure that a user put all the information inside these boxes. So go on and go to your developers tab if you don't have a developers tab please look at my video for setting up the developer tab in Microsoft Excel in the developers tab go ahead and go to insert and under ActiveX controls select the command button all we're going to do is uh, we're going to draw that on the form and I'm going to right click it and click properties and we're going to put verify and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to double we're right now we're in design mode if you can see on the developers tab we're going to double click the verify button and that's going to throw us into the visual basic environment and let's just do a few variables real quick we're going to put name equals actually that name that's already taken up by the by visual basic so we're going to put the name equals and we're going to do sheet one that's the name of the the sheet we're not necessarily looking at the caption because this we can still change but I'm going to do the, the, the name of the sheet, the actual identifier, which is sheet one dot range. And the name is in C3. All right, and then we have address. And then we're going to do sheet one dot range. And we're still in column C, but that's row four. And I'm going to speed this up by using copy and paste. Change this to city, state, and zip. And what we're going to do is just change out the columns. I'm sorry, the row number. We have C3, C4, C5, C6, and C7. C7 is the zip. So all these variables are now assigned to the sheet and the specific address, the specific range. And just to confirm, we can do message box, the name. And if we were to put something, if we were to take us out of design mode and click the button, we're gonna get a blank message box. We'll put a name in here. Hit verify and we have a name coming up. So all we're going to do under verify is make sure that the user typed in at least something into the name, address, city, state, and zip field. And so I'm going to show you a couple of if statements for that. We're going to do if the name, and what we'll do is we'll put if the length of the name is equal to zero then, and then we'll put a message box. Please enter a name and we'll do a comma VB critical and what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit the sub meaning we're just we're not gonna proceed any further and then we need to close the if statement so if the length of the name is zero there's no characters we're gonna notify the user that they need to enter in the name and we're not gonna proceed any further and what we're gonna do though is we're gonna copy this code and now we're gonna put in the address if the length of the address is equal to zero, then we're going to put message box, please enter an address. And you're going to want to do the same thing for the city. Please enter a city. Make sure you change the notification. Copy and paste the if all the way down to the end of. Do the same thing for a state. Please enter a state. And then last, please enter in a zip. And we'll put if length of the zip. So let's just test all this code out. If I take out the name, I'm gonna hit verify. And make sure you're, take yourself out of design mode, that way you're in production mode. Click verify, please enter a name. So let's enter in a name. Hit verify. Please enter an address. And so I'm going to show you if we were to put a city and I click verify, 
we're still gonna get please enter an address because our if statements are in order of the field. So first we look for the name, then address, then city, then state, then zip. So I'm gonna put in an address and city. Now we have please enter a state. And hit verify. So we didn't get any kind of notification. So let's go to our Visual Basic environment. So now what we're gonna do is just put a statement saying, message box, you entered in all the data. And we'll put a VB, not critical, but we'll put a VB information. So now if we were to hit verify, but you entered in all the data. So this just gives you a, a quick validation check on looking at the fields. And the next, in the next video I'm going to show, I'm going to show how we can put all this data into a user form. Thank you for watching.